Stop me if you've heard this before, but a popular game has been made into a movie. Hollywood's latest stab at capturing a game's magic hits the big screen this weekend. Here's our very own Sean Hobbs from the director's chair. We're thieves, but we help the wrong person steal the wrong thing and unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. The game has been around for nearly 50 years, and we tried making a movie once before. It was pretty bad. But now it's getting another shot. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is new in theaters. Chris Pine joining Michelle Rodriguez and Hugh Grant dodging dragons and evil wizards on a quest set in the world of that legendary game. And it is better than the last movie. Fun. In theory, I never felt invested in any of it, but keep in mind I know nothing about the game, and I am in the minority. The reviews are really good for this. But I thought it was just all right. If this is your judgment on me, take my life, not his. Okay, then also in theaters, his only son, about Abraham's biblical sacrifice of his son to God. To select theaters, Mummies, an animated import about three mummies in modern London. The horror movie Malum, remake of Last Shift about a rookie cop haunted by scary stuff overnight. Would it make you feel better if you came to stay with me? Also the drama 1001 with Tiana Taylor stealing her son back from foster care. And Spin and Gold, the true story of 70s label Casablanca Records. With Jeremy Jordan, Jason Derulo, big cast. You got a name for it? Air Jordan. Oh, and you can catch Matt Damon and Ben Affleck's new one, Air, about the making of Air Jordans at sneak previews Saturday night. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? All right, then we go home, where Creed 3 is already on premium VOD while it's still in theaters. Ditto Champions with Woody Harrelson coaching a disabled basketball team. I see you. And yep, James Cameron's big blockbuster sequel, Avatar, The Way of Water. Oh, look. Airplane? No, think interplanetary. All right, then new on demand, Diana Agron's dad, Thomas Hayden Church, is a loner UFO nut in Acid Man. Well, the guy's convinced he's going to Mars in Space Oddity with Kevin Bacon, directed by his wife, Kira Sedgwick. From France comes the satire Smoking Causes Coughing, about a team of tobacco superheroes. And then sadly, there's what appears to be the final Bruce Willis movie, Assassin about futuristic hitmen who borrow other people's bodies. I played for five minutes. I still see falling blocks in my dreams. Then on to streaming where the movie Tetris. Yeah, Taron Edgerton pioneering that legendary video game. It hits Apple TV Plus. So does the series Big Door Prize about a magical machine that predicts your life's potential. And Eva the Owlet, a new kids show based on those books. The Disney Plus has the teen movie Prom Pact about a girl who falls for a jock she tutors. This power is evolution. And women can suddenly zap electricity in the power. A new show on Amazon Prime with Tony Collette. Then Hulu has the acclaimed Rye Lane about a budding romance in South London. Also, the new music docu-series Rap Caviar presents. Does that feel fake? Ow! Well, Kevin Hart still trying to become an action star and die heart to die harder. That's on the Roku channel. And finally, Netflix not only has Rob Lowe teaming up with his own son as an eccentric genius in the comedy show Unstable. Do you remember what happened last time we were on a getaway? Yeah, some people died. But they also reteam Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston back playing detective in Murder Mystery 2. That's a look at what's new from the director's chair.